Good morning. Um, my computer got rained on yesterday. We went to a baseball game and it started raining while we were there. And I guess my husband set my laptop in like the windowsill because we had people over for lunch yesterday. I keep it on the dining room table. Um, and oh, my kids are screaming at me. And uh, hold on, she probably needs me to wipe. BRB. Okay, got her wiped. Great mom life. Anyway, so my computer um, is not turning on now because it got rained on yesterday was what I was getting at. So I have nothing to do today. Um, I can't do any work, can't do schoolwork. I'm getting my master's degree. I don't know if I've mentioned that on here before, but I can't do any of that work. All my beating stuff is on my computer. YouTube, I can't edit any videos. So like I have no work to do today for the first time in years and years and years. Um, I can't remember the last time that I didn't have at least a day, like at least a few minutes of work um, every single day. So <laughs> I'm gonna take you along with me. I'm just kind of cleaning the house today. We've got to go to the feed store, feed the horses. It's a muddy mess here. I've got a hair appointment at three. I haven't had my hair done since, what? My It's on Ladybug. Oh, it's on Ladybug. We don't watch Ladybug. I'll come change it in just a minute. Um, anyway, I haven't had my hair done as you can see the ends are pretty messed up since before covid so i don't know it's been a year and a half Hi. and brooklyn's here hello uh anyway so i'm gonna go get it colored not anything too crazy and then i'm gonna get it just trimmed a little bit and get some of the dead ends cut off and i think oh we're also gonna plant a pumpkin patch today so you guys can watch that um anyway so i'll just take you along here we go I also forgot to mention, my husband is out of town on work business for two nights. We haven't spent a night away from each other in well over a year, probably probably more like two years maybe. I don't know. It's been a really long time. We don't ever spend time apart. So I am flying solo with the girls for two nights. So we'll see how that goes, especially with nothing for me to do here, I guess go to the park or something I don't know what do moms what do moms do when they don't work and they have their kids to themselves what do you do computer people and they suggested putting it in rice for two days and then trying to turn it back on so we're gonna try that these were like two dollars each at the dollar store so what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of rice down on the bottom okay so I used half of one of these bags and just kind of coated the bottom I'm going to I already took the battery out so what I'm gonna do is um, just set it down in there, I guess, and then leave it open a little bit so that like I can pour, uh, if it's like perfectly in there. Um, I'm gonna pour some like over the keyboard. That's, I guess, the part that like really needs to dry out. And I'm going to put the battery in here too and pour just some more rice over the top of all that. Okay, so there's like 10 pounds of rice in here. I did make a mess, so maybe a little less than 10 pounds. And I'm just going to kind of shake it around so it's all in the grooves. Leave that for two days and see what happens. I guess it's kind of like um, like what you do with the cell phone if it gets wet. So um, we'll see. I don't know if I should have covered this my screen 
two. I just don't know. So, um, I don't know. We'll see what happens. We're going to leave it for 48 hours and pray that it works. Fingers crossed. All right. And while my husband is out of town, I'm going to take the opportunity to try to eat a little bit healthier. So most of these are leftovers from 4th of July weekend. We've got all this corn. I'm going to cut it off of the cob. We have some radishes. I've never eaten radishes or cooked with them. So I think I'm just going to wash them and slice them real thin and then like saute them. I don't know. I don't know what to do with that. I have some squash from my garden I'm going to slice up. Um, I have a sweet potato. I don't know if I'll use that tonight or wait to make another meal out of that while he's gone. And then I'm waiting for my peaches to soften from our peach tree. And then my sister-in-law made this salad yesterday. It's kale, um, some tomatoes and mushrooms. And then there's avocado in here too, but I've eaten most of that out. So what I'm going to do is just put all of this together, including the squash. I'm going to saute it in my pan over here. I've got olive oil and butter. And then I also have some like maybe one or two brats left over from the weekend that I'm going to cut up and put in there as well and just have this for my meals while my husband's gone. Just bulk it up a lot with vegetables. Sunday after the 4th of July parade. We reheated them on Monday. Today's Tuesday. So this is the the third time for this brat. Oh, and they're jalapeno cheddar brats. Even better. So I'm just going to cut this up and chunk it in there too. Why not? It's a party. A little bit of everything. Alright, so I just seasoned up my radishes and squash with some everything but the bagel seasoning, garlic salt, and some pepper. And they're looking pretty good. I think I'm going to go ahead and add in my uh, kale, mushrooms, and tomatoes. Which I never, ever buy kale, so I guess this is a good little experience for me. And I'm just going to let all this cook down. Ah. I'm going to add some more oil to so that can all cook together. And then once all that is wilted a little bit, I'm going to add in the corn and the broth. So this is how it turned out. Everything cooked down really nice. And I think it's going to be delicious. Full of veggies. 
looks good. for them to grow. What did we plant? Pumpkins! What did we plant? Pumpkins! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> All right, I'm on my way to my hair appointment. I'm ready to get this situation <laughs> fixed. Good morning. It is the next day. We're on our way to feed our horses. Say good morning. Good morning. Good morning, cuties. Anyway, my hair appointment ended up taking four hours and 40 minutes and cost about double what I was expecting. So uh, by the time I got out of there, um, it was almost eight o'clock at night and I had to speed to get the girls and then still go feed. 
Like I said, my husband's out of town, so everything is kind of on me right now, which is totally fine. The kids had happy meals last night because I ran out of time to make dinner. It was like almost bedtime by the time that I got out of my hair appointment. But it, it turned out nice. I like it. It's got a little more blonde than I anticipated, but it still looks nice. Um, so I hadn't had my hair touched in about 18 months, so I understand that it took a lot of time and a lot of money to get it manageable again. We cut about two and a half inches off, so it's a lot healthier now. And my computer is still in rice. Um, I will probably extend this to tomorrow to show you guys if it turns on or not. Fingers crossed because my entire life is on there. I can't do my beadwork, can't do my schoolwork, I can't edit any videos, I can't even upload anything from my phone onto my computer like to free up space on my phone. Guess what? What? I can't do my workout videos. She can't do her workout videos. Yikes. It's terrible. Anyway, so we're heading to feed the horses and we have literally nothing planned for today because I can't work. So we're just going to kind of fiddle around. All right. So for lunch today, I'm going to cook up um, these last three pieces of salmon that I had in the freezer. And then I'm going to serve it over some cauliflower rice and carrots. So I'm going to make this. I've made it on my channel before with a fried egg, some soy sauce. I don't have any peas, and then I'm going to use these fresh carrots that I had. It should be a pretty healthy, delicious lunch. What? Okay, I've got my cauliflower rice in the microwave. It's almost done. I've got um, my egg here with my carrots. I just put it and some butter in that same pan that I did my salmon in. So it's got some of those salmon, um, like crispy salmon pieces, so that should be good. And then my salmon is resting over here. And I'm going to pour my cauliflower rice in here as soon as it's done cooking and pour some soy sauce in there with it. Okay, I just poured my cauliflower rice in here and it's looking pretty good. I'm just gonna add in some soy sauce to taste. than that. Okay, that should do it. And then I'm just going to plate this up and I'll show you guys how it turned out. up a really good healthy delicious lunch I literally had a Totino's pizza out of the freezer and ready to eat I hadn't cooked it yet then I was like gosh no you don't need to do that oh I need to take the trash out don't mind that let me turn this way I was like you don't need to do that and saw salmon cauliflower rice in my pantry or in my freezer and then I had some leftover carrots in our fridge so I whipped this little baddie up and I'm going to enjoy it Hey guys, so I'm sitting here editing this video and I realized I never did an outro. So here I am, well over a month later editing this and just wanted to update you. My computer never did come back on. The rice trick did not work. Uh, so now that is my children's computer. They play on it and pretend to type and my daughter practices her ABCs on it. Um, anyway, so I'm back in the YouTube world now. I have a computer. I'm able to edit, but I'm a little bit behind. So just bear with me and we will get there together. Thank you so much for watching. And that's my cue. Adios.